In this video, we're going to be doing one of the microbit tutorials on the MakeCode website. So if you go to makecode.com and from there, if you click on the microbit link, that'll open up the microbit website. So there's a number of tutorials and games that uh, are on this website. The one we're going to do today is snap the dot. So I'm going to start the tutorial. So this is going to load up the microbit project editor and it's going to load in the steps that we need to follow in the tutorial and, and give the step by step of what we need to do. So at the start, it just gives you a little bit of info on what the game is. So Snap the Dot is a game of skill where the player has to press A exactly when the dot reaches the center of the screen. This tutorial shows how to use the game engine. Okay. So step number one. So we're going to add, uh, we're going to create a sprite and we're going to set it to a variable. So let's drag uh, create a sprite. So that is in game. So we've got create a sprite, but we also need a variable. So what is the variable name? So we're going to call it sprite. So let's make a variable called sprite. And on start, set sprite to create a sprite at x2, y2. Now these X and Y values are the position that the sprite is being created at. So we can see X2, Y2 is right in the middle. So if I was to change X to zero, you'll see it moves onto the left. So it'll, so the way the X axis works is X0, X1, X2, X3, X4, and the same with Y. So Y0 is up the very top. So Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. If you mouse over them, you'll see that you actually get a little two tool tip to tell you what is the X and Y value for each location. So we're going to create ours in the middle at X2, Y2. Okay, so move on to the next step. So we're going to add into the forever block that the sprite gets moved by one. So it's going to keep on moving. So let's do that. So into the game and get the move by one and put that inside forever. So now we should see the sprite start moving, goes to the end. But we notice that it doesn't bounce back, so it just sticks there. So we're going to need to do something to make it bounce back. So we're going to use the if on edge bounce uh, block and we're also going to add a little pause because it goes quite quickly so let's just add the if on edge bounce the simulator will reload and you'll see it go left and right and you can see the speed it's going is just a little bit too fast so we're going to add in a pause so let's go into the basic toolbox and put in pause for 100 uh, milliseconds so that's one tenth of a second there we go so we can see it's kind of moving on a a, a better pace now, an easier pace to play with. Because remember, the goal of this is going to be to, to press the A button to stop it right in the middle. Okay, so it's saying I'm ready to download. Just checking, is there not a step to press the A button? It's not there, but it must be one of the next ones. So it's saying at the moment, if you have um, if you have a microbit, you can actually download it and just see how it works. But let's let's keep on going. We won't download it yet. So now we're going to say when A is pressed, we're going to test if the sprite is in the center or not. So we're going to use an on button press block to handle the A button and then put an if block to test if X is equal to two. So let's try and do this without looking at the tip. So if we click on here, it'll actually show us the code blocks to add. Let's try and do it ourselves. So let's try again on, on button A press. Now we're going to put an if inside it. So there we go. So if through, if true, then now we're going to need to put in the condition into there, which is if X is equal to two. So we're going to need to go into the logic toolbox, get an equal to block, and we will put that inside the if. So we're going to test if the X of Sprite. So we go into the game toolbox and we can get the X value of the sprite. And if that's equal to two, which will be the middle, then we're going to do something. So let's move on. Finally, put an add score and a game over block to handle both success if the sprite is in the center and failure if it's not in the center. 
Okay, so let's handle the success. So we're going to change score by one each time you get it right. Now we're going to, we want an else in this if then. So we're going to click on the little plus here. So like you can change these, you can add in extra ifs into an if, an if then, but we just need an else. So we're going to put in game over if you get it wrong. There we go. So let's try this out. So we can see it going across back and forth. So let's try, oh, no, missed it. So as you can see, it's, it goes into the game over, which will end the game and then say game over and show your score. So game over and my score, which is tragically zero. So let's try this again and hopefully I'm a little bit more successful. Okay, so that little flash there indicates I got a point. So that's two, three, oh, no, missed it. So again, it's going to get into the game over animation. So it'll say game over, and I think my score should be three. Let's just make sure that that works. Score. And three. So there we go. That's... That's the tutorial for Snap the Dot on the Make Code website. So if you actually have a micro bit, you can download your project. So you just need to click on download and that will download the projects, the file onto your computer. It'll be called the dot hex, a hex file. And you just need to connect your micro bit using your USB cable to your computer and then send the hex file from your computer onto the micro bit and then you can actually play that for game for real on your micro bit. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to get our weekly coding projects, make sure to click on subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us make next, just comment in the video below.